Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful flour doily. It has a lot of layers, three layers and a flour in between with beautiful edging. This is worked with puff stitch and Solomon stitch. For this we need two different color crochet yarn. Crochet hook 2.5 millimeters and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. You need to begin this pattern with a slip knot and chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you need to make a slip stitch in the first chain. and chain 3. So 1, 2, 3. Now into the ring you need to work one half double crochet. So for that you yarn over, you insert the needle into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now that's your half double crochet. You chain one, you work your next half double crochet, chain one, your next half double crochet. So into the ring you need to work seven half double crochets with chain one in between. So you need to have a total of eight double crochet counting the first one. So this is one and then you add seven to it with chain ones in between. I've completed my last half double crochet. Now I have a total of eight and then I have worked my last chain. Now you need to go to the first, uh, the chain that we made, the chain three. You need to go onto the third chain and make a slip stitch. Alright, now you enter the chain space and here you need to change your color. So we'll pull up the next color through the chain space and through the slip stitch. If you want you can cut off this yarn and join this yarn if that is how you change the color. And now you need to chain three, one, two, and three. Now into the same chain space, we need to work four half double crochets. So that's one, two, three and four okay now you chain two and you work a slip stitch into the same chain space now that's a slip stitch that's your first petal into the chain space now you work a slip stitch into the next chain space Now you chain two and you work four half double crochets one, two, three, and four, and you chain two. And you work a slip stitch into the same chain space. Now you work a slip stitch into the next chain space. And you make a chain 2 and you continue working the petals 
in all the chain spaces that you have. I've completed my last petal and the last slip stitch into the petal. Now you need to make a slip stitch into the next chain space that is the first petal that we started. And now you chain one and cut your yarn. So we have the center flower now. Now we'll be working on the back of the flower. So you work with your white yarn. Now you need to insert your needle into one of this half double crochet right next to your white yarn and you pull it through and chain one and then you chain three one two three now you need to work a slip stitch into the next half double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 you need to work a slip stitch into the next half double crochet that is this one chain 3 1 2 3 in the next one a slip stitch chain 3 1 2 3 slip stitch into the next one chain 3 1 2 3 slip stitch into the next one chain 3 1 2 3 slip stitch into the next one chain 3, 2 and 3 and now you slip stitch into the next one and this is your last chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and now you slip stitch into the first one where you started So this is what you have. This is the back of the flower. This is the front part. So now you need to work one slip stitch into the first chain 3. That is right into this chain. The first chain 3 that is next to your needle. That is this one. And you work a slip stitch there. And then you chain 3. 1, 2, 3 and now we will work 5 double crochets into the same chain space. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 chain 2 slip stitch into the same chain space now you have your first petal now you go to the next chain space that's right here right next to it slip stitch into that chain 2 work 5 double crochets it's 1 2 3 4 
and 5. chain 2 and slip stitch into the same chain space now you need to slip stitch into the next chain space and you work your next petal right into that you continue working in the same manner till you reach the last chain space I've completed the last petal now you need to go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain space that is with your first petal and you can chain one and cut your yarn this is what you have now again we need to change the color to the previous one so we can join it with a slip knot you need to join the color again on the first half, half double crochet that we created that is one of these lines here that we have you need to go through that and join your color and now again we will be working the chain threes on each of these half double crochets this is the same half double crochet that we started with right here we are working on the back side of it so you join your yarn on one half double crochet then you chain three one two three and you slip stitch into the very next one you need to go right under it and you slip stitch you have a chain again you chain 3 and you slip stitch into the next one right under it chain 3 slip stitch into the next one in the next half double crochet right under it and in the same manner you need to complete this entire row with these chain threes I've completed my last chain three now you need to go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet that you started with right under that you make one slip stitch there and now you need to go ahead and make a second slip stitch into the first chain that we made so into the chain right into it you need to go ahead and make a slip stitch okay and now you chain three one two three now in this chain we'll be working triple crochets so you yarn over twice you insert your needle into the chain pull out a yarn yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops and yarn over pull through last two loops so that's your triple crochet you need to work seven of these into the chain so we have a first chain here after that we worked one this is the second one two three four five 
five, six, and seven. And then you chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the same chain space. So you have your first petal. Now you slip stitch into the next chain space, right next to it, chain three. Now you work seven triple crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, and the last one, seven. After that, you chain three, two and three. You make a slip stitch into the same chain space. Then you work a slip stitch into the next chain space right next to it and then you continue this pattern in each chain that we created right up till here. I've completed my last petal and like before we need to go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain. like this and chain one cut your yarn so this is your flower now we go ahead and attach your white yarn We will again attach it with a slip knot and on the back side of your flower, not this side, this side. You need to find one of the double crochets that we did, the half double crochets, the white ones right here. This one and you need to attach your yarn to that. Like this now again we will be making a row of chain threes so one two three you need chain three and go ahead and slip stitch into the next half double crochet that's right next to it Now chain three, one, two and three, slip stitch into the next half double crochet and in the same manner you need to complete your row. It gets a little tight here but you need to finish this row in the same manner. So chain 3 and slip stitch in the entire row. I've completed my last chain 3. Now you need to slip stitch that in your first half double crochet, the one we started with. Okay. 
okay and now you need to slip stitch into the first chain space you need to find that it's right here I found my chain space so you go ahead and slip stitch into that and then you chain three one two three now you need to make four double crochets into this chain space so that's one two three and the last one four so you have your first chain three followed by four double crochets now you chain two one two now you work five double crochets in the next chain space that's one two three four and five now chain two and in the next chain space five double crochets so you need to continue this pattern throughout the row that is five double crochets in each chain space and in between them you need to work chain 2 I have completed my row and I have finished it with the last chain 2 and a slip stitch to the first chain 3 that we made now again in the next row we begin with a chain 3 and then we need to go ahead and make one double crochet on top of each double crochets that we have here so this is our first one second third and the fourth one and now we work our chain two one two and again we need to work one double crochet on top of each double crochets of our previous row so that's one two three four and five again chain two and we need to repeat this pattern throughout the row I have finished my row and I have worked the last chain two now we need to just go ahead and make a slip stitch in our chain three that we made And then you can go ahead and cut the yarn. For the next row, we need to change our color. So we join our color with a slip knot. You can join it to any one of the first double crochets that we've made after the chain twos. Any one of these. So I'm going to go right in here. And once you join this you need to work your chain 3 and then you need to make one double crochet in each double crochets that we have so this is our first one this is our second one
third and fourth. Now you need to make a chain three. One, two, three. So above the chain two, now in this row, we will be working a chain three. And then you need to work one double crochet in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And again, you chain three, one, two, three, and in the next group of five double crochets, you make five double crochets again. So you need to follow this pattern throughout the row with chain three in between each groups of double crochets. I have completed my row and I have completed my last chain three. Now you need to go ahead and again join it with the slip stitch to the chain three that we started with. And you need to cut your yarn. We are joining the white color again. We will join it with the slip knot. And again we join it in one of the double crochets, the first double crochet after the chain 3 that we have. So I am going in right here. Okay. And then we work our chain 3. And now again we need to make one double crochet in each double crochet is here. So that's one two three and four. Now in the chain space that we have of our previous row, we need to work four double crochets all into this chain space. So that's one, two, three and four. Now again, one double crochet in each double crochets that we have. We are not working any chains in between our double crochets. So that's the first one here. The next one. This is the third one. Four. And five. Now again in our chain three space that we have, we work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then we continue working one double crochets on top of each double crochets that we have in our previous row. So this is the pattern we follow throughout the row. We make one double crochet in each double crochet that we have and we work four double crochets in the chain spaces. I have completed my row and now we need to join the row with a slip stitch in this chain three, our first chain three that we made. And then again we need to chain three. One, two and three. And now we need to make one double crochet in the same stitch that we made our chain three. 
so in the same stitch you need to go back again and work one double crochet so it's like an increase that we are working in our next row so now in the next double crochet you work one double crochet one double crochet in the next one one double crochet in the next one so you work one double crochet in all the stitches till you get to your next batch of double crochets here right up till here so that's one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet and this is our last one double crochet okay so now we are going to work an increase above all our first double crochets after this space so we have our spaces here in each rows and we've worked our four double crochets here so this will count as our first double crochet right how like how we counted it here this is a straight line so above this we worked two double crochets here now we need to work two double crochets above this one so you need to follow this line so two double crochets in the same stitch again we need to make one double crochet in each of the stitches till we reach this one right up this line here so straight up on this double crochet we are going to work an increase so one double crochet in each stitch that's one double crochet in each stitch the last one okay now we've reached this line again if you can see this this V that we have here right on top of this you need to work two double crochets one and two so that's the pattern th throughout the row so after each of these four double crochets that we have made in our previous row four double crochets in the chain space that we made after each of these in the next stitch you will work two double crochets in the same stitch in all the other stitches you work one double crochet so we have our increases on all these spots in the row so that is the pattern you follow throughout this row i've completed my row and now again we need to join our row with the slip stitch and then chain three and now we work one double crochet in the same stitch that we made our chain three and now we work one double crochet in each stitch till we reach our increase that we made right here so that's one double crochet in each stitch just one double crochet till you reach your increase you need to keep an eye out for your increase once you reach it 
so last one one double crochet so now we've reached our increase where we've made two double crochets in one stitch in the previous row now right on top of that you work two double crochets one and two so right on top of your increase of your previous row you're working another increase so an increase is two double crochets in the same stitch so we work two double crochets in the same stitch here now we work two double crochets in the same stitch in the row above it now you follow with one double crochet again till you reach the next one the next increase one double crochet in each stitch now working the last one Okay, and now we've reached our increase here you need to work two double crochets right on top of this stitch this V that we have the two double crochets in one stitch right on top of that you need to work two double crochets so that's the pattern for this row you work one double crochets in all your stitches and when you reach your increase right on top of that you work two double crochets so that's two double crochets here and right on top of that two double crochets now this is the third row that we have after your color that we join so this is one two and this is the third one now this pattern is for the third row as well as the fourth row you repeat this for the next row as well so in the next row you will work one double crochet in each stitch and work two double crochets directly on top of your increase on top of your two double crochets together so the same pattern you work for this row and your next row I've completed my row and now you need to go ahead and join your row by working a slip stitch and now you chain three one two three now you need to turn your work and we will be working a puff stitch in the same stitch that we made our chain three so right into this stitch you need to work a puff stitch by pulling up two loops so you pull up your first loop it's one and it's your second loop and you go ahead and finish your stitch now for those of you who don't know to work a puff stitch i have made a video earlier of how to work a puff stitch flower you all can check that and then come back and continue this video now we will work a solomon stitch so for that you need to pull up your loop you don't pull up a long loop just a small one you hold on to your yarn here and you yarn over pull this yarn through this loop like this now you enter your needle into this space you pull up a yarn again Pull it through the space that you are holding on to this loop. Now you have two loops on your hook. You finish the stitch. Yarn over and pull through both loops. So I'll show you this one more time. You need to pull up a loop. Hold on to your yarn. Yarn over pull through your loop you need to insert the needle into the yarn that you're holding on to yarn over pull it through the yarn that you're holding on to 
Now you have two loops on your needle, yarn over and you finish the stitch by pulling through both. Alright, now after you've done that you need to skip two stitches, that's one, two, into the third one you need to work a puff stitch by pulling up two loops, that's one and that's two and you work your puff. You just need two loops in your puff stitch here and again you work your Solomon stitch and then you skip two stitches one two into the third one the puff stitch again by pulling up just two loops and then we make another Solomon stitch here and again skip two stitches into the third one work a puff stitch by just pulling up two loops so this is the pattern you follow throughout your row you need to work one puff stitch one Solomon stitch skip two stitches in the third stitch again continue with the puff stitch so you work this throughout your row I've completed my row and you may be left with just one stitch in between the last two puffs that but that's okay you just need to go ahead and work your last Solomon stitch and slip stitch into the first puff that we started with And then you work a puff stitch right on top of this by pulling two loops. This is your first one and this is your second one. And in the similar manner how we worked our uh, previous row, we'll continue working this row as well. So this is a Solomon stitch. We worked the first puff stitch, a Solomon stitch. Now we work a puff stitch right above the puff stitch of the previous row. That's this one. So we worked one above this one. Now above this one. So we need to get into that puff stitch and pull up two loops. This is the first loop and this is our next loop. And you finish your stitch. This is what you have. And then you work another Solomon stitch. And you work a puff stitch above the next puff stitch by pulling up two loops one and two. Now again you work your Solomon stitch and you work your puff stitch above the next puff stitch. So this is the pattern you follow for this entire row as well as the next row. So you need to complete this row by following this pattern you work a puff stitch a Solomon stitch and a puff stitch above each puff stitch and you follow this pattern for this entire row as well as the next row. I've completed my row and I've worked my last puff stitch and the Solomon stitch. Now you need to join this to the first puff stitch that we made with a slip stitch and again you work a puff stitch right on top of the previous puff stitch of the previous row and now we need to work two Solomon stitches so you pull up a loop and work your first one and you pull up your loop and work your second one 
so you have two solomon stitches here and then you need to go ahead and work a puff stitch into your next puff stitch right on top of your next puff stitch you make a puff stitch by pulling up two loops it's one and that's two So here you have a puff stitch, two Solomon stitches and a puff stitch. And after that you need to work two Solomon stitches again. So that's one and this is the next one. And then you work a puff stitch on top of your next puff stitch by pulling up two loops so that's one and the next one two yeah. all right so this is the pattern throughout the row you need to work exactly like how we worked in the earlier rows but in this row instead of working one Solomon stitch you work two Solomon stitches between your puff stitches. So you need to follow this pattern throughout the row. I have completed my row and I went ahead and slip stitched it to join the row and I cut off the yarn. Now in the next row we need to join our next yarn on top of any one of the puff stitch that we made like this and after that you need to work a Solomon stitch so you chain one first like this and you work a Solomon stitch and then you need to work a slip stitch right in the center of these two Solomon stitches so right in the center of this you work a slip stitch and then you chain three one two three slip stitch into the same stitch again chain three one two Three, slip stitch into the same stitch again and one two three chain three again slip stitch into the same stitch again so you need to do this three times And then you chain one and you work a Solomon stitch and then you need to work a slip stitch into the next puff stitch above the next puff stitch you need to work a slip stitch So this is what we have here you have one Solomon stitch we worked chain three slip stitch chain three slip stitch chain three slip stitch then again we worked a Solomon stitch and we worked a slip stitch into the next puff stitch here then you chain one and you work the same thing again so you start with the Solomon stitch Now in between the two stitches here in, into this you need to work a slip stitch then chain three slip stitch into the same stitch chain three slip stitch into the same stitch 
and then chain 3 slip stitch into the same stitch again chain 1 you work another Solomon stitch and then you need to make a slip stitch over the next puff stitch that you have chain one so we've got two corners here we are trying to make an edge around like this one so we've done two I'll show you one more so you start with a Solomon stitch and in the center knot that you have between the two Solomon stitches you need to make a slip stitch and then chain 3 slip stitch into the same stitch chain 3 slip stitch into the same stitch chain 3 slip stitch into the same stitch chain 1 Solomon stitch and then you go ahead and make a slip stitch over the next puff stitch that you have so that's right on top of this one and then you chain one and continue the same pattern so you need to work the same pattern throughout the row to get the edging that we have here I've completed my row and I made a slip stitch in the first puff that we started with right here and we need to go ahead and cut the yarn now now we need to join our next color that's the white and now we will be joining the color in these rows like this so we've completed this part of our doily now we will be working the second flap now this is exactly the same uh, pattern that we have done the four rows that we've done with the edging but I'll show you how to join it and then you can continue that so you need to join your white yarn to the row with a slip knot okay you need to join it in your second row here so this is your first row this is your second row now right below this you need to find a stitch here and you need to go through your stitch in this manner like this crossways you need to insert I'll show you this one more time okay right below any of this puff stitches in your second row from your puff stitches so you count this as one you count this as two and you need to enter your hook right under this so either you can pick this or this so you enter your needle here and you work your stitches through this so we'll join our yarn here I pulled it through our stitch okay and we join it so now we work our first puff stitch here you can hold your work like this or like like this however you're comfortable with so you work your first puff stitch with two loops that's one and that's our second loop okay and you complete your puff first puff okay now in the same manner we are going to make a puff a solomon a puff so we work a solomon stitch now and 
and in the same row we skip two after we join the first one here after we join the first one we skip two so we skip this we skip this and now we will work in this stitch okay so what you do is you work a puff stitch into that so we skip this one we skip this one and in the next one we work a puff so one and this is the second one it's easier if you hold your work like this so you can work through the row but make sure you don't stitch it together all right so now after your puff stitch you make a solomon stitch and again you skip two so you skip one you skip the next one and in right in this one you work your puff stitch through the stitch so we're working on top of your work on top of your rows we are working another row like this so it, it will be like a pop-up again you work a Solomon stitch after your puff stitch okay and then you skip the next two one two and in the third one you work your row I mean your puff stitch like this again a Solomon stitch you skip one two and the next one you work a puff stitch all right so this is the pattern for the rest of the row now towards the end you might not get the exact count of two you may get one or three or four but you need to work accordingly if you have three you can it's all right you can finish your row and once you've done that you need to slip stitch and then continue this pattern the similar pattern that we worked here with one two three four rows with the edging that is what you need to work in this row for you to get this pattern this is the second layer that we're working on so you finish this row then you start another one and continue this pattern I've completed my row and now we're going to go ahead and work the last layer so we're going to join the yarn again with a slip knot and now we need to join it in these spaces that we had made in these spaces so right in between we had worked four double crochets in these spaces so you need to work in the center of your double crochets so one two and on the other side one two so right in the center of this right here in between your four double crochets we start with our first puff stitch so you insert your hook in this manner all right and you pull up your yarn from there and attach it okay now you work your first puff stitch there with two loops and now you work a Solomon stitch now your next puff will be in between these stitches so you leave one two and then you work your next one you can either work it across or straight so you either go in straight like this or across 
that's your choice but you just leave the first two and you work your puff stitch right there all right you made two now again you work one solomon stitch and then again you have your four double crochets here you work a puff stitch in between them you leave two and right in the center of them you need to work your puff stitch all right so you have two double crochets here and two double crochets you worked right in center right in the center now again a solomon stitch now you need to leave the first two here and you work your puff stitch right here so this is where your puff stitch should be right and again a solomon stitch and again we've reached the space of your four double crochets you need to work a puff stitch in between them like this So this is the pattern throughout your row you work one solomon stitch in between your four double crochets that's here and one i'm sorry a puff stitch in between this and a puff stitch in between this and you join them with your solomon knot so you continue this pattern so we worked one here you work a solomon knot now and you work a puff stitch here and again a solomon knot again a puff stitch here you continue this and in the similar manner you need to make these layers so this is your first row that you would be working you work your next row and then you directly work the last row because the first layer if you see right here in the pattern you you have only three uh, rows of solomon stitch so we work the first one here this is the first one all right right here the first one and then you work the second one and the third one again will have two solomon knots like we've done like i've showed you in our previous layer the two solomon knots and then you finish the edging so you'll do that for this row two solomon knots and the edging and you need to work the edging in all the rows so that's about it for this pattern i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you need to see more crochet videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with a video nearly every week thank you so much for watching this video